Yo guys, what's up? It's Hypocrisy here. Welcome back to some more Brotato. So, crazy starts with 100 range with precise weapons. 25% attack speed. You start with a knife. You get negative 30 dodge. That's kind of ass. Negative 10 engineering, negative 10 range damage. So, we're going to be running precision weapons. We'll start with the lightning ship for the bounce. Bounce is a really good uh, modifier in this game. The fact that it just auto seeks down anything, no matter the distance on the map, I think is really good. Now, unless we're getting elemental damage, that bounce is going to fall off really quickly. But it's still going to help us in the early game pick up some extra cash, which is good. We'll take the melee damage. Buy another lightning ship. I guess we already have no dodge, so buying toxic sludge isn't a problem. And... I think we're gonna lock the crossbow. Nah, we shouldn't have locked the crossbow. We should probably just do a full melee run. I think precision weapons are pretty good. Free crit chance from the synergy is great. I think a lot... <clears throat> a lot of the weapon types aren't very well balanced. I think guns are by far the strongest. And I could be entirely off base on this from my limited experience, but I think guns are just way better than everything else. We'll take the speed. Yeah, we'll buy the coupon, buy the shirk, and go next. I hope I unlocked the cross while I wasn't paying attention, to be honest. I know the shuriken is a ranged weapon. But I kind of wish it scaled with melee stats. I think it's really interesting when uh, games add things that scale outside of their own classification. Because it allows you to have more diverse builds. Take the XP gain. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the max HP. Great. By the knife. Roll me. We're going to lock the banner and go next. Now, I don't think... Obviously, I passed up a couple of harvesting upgrades. I don't think we're really going to use harvesting on this. I want to be able to just make all the money that we need keeping the map clear. That way we can focus our income more on raw damage upgrades. We got a free item here to kill this guy. Nice. Look at our tree. Definitely take the coffee. We're gonna take the max HP again here. Buy the banner. Roll. Buy the claw tree and another shuriken and go next. So we have all mini bosses this run. Looks like 11, I think it was 11, 15, and 17 that they're gonna spawn. I would like to be strong enough to kill them all. The free red items could potentially be really good. We have a limited reduction on what we can use, simply because, like, obviously we're not gonna take the couch. Couch gives you HP regen based off of how low your speed is. Negative is better. And we also won't be able to take the hoodie, I believe, which is the one that transfers dodge into... I think it transfers dodge into attack speed. But there are a lot of reds that are still great. We already have bonus range with precision, so we're going to take the melee damage again. Definitely take the max HP there. Um... We will take the Hedgehog and roll. We don't want any of this, so we're going to roll one more time. We will combine the Lightning Shiv by this one, lock the knife, go next. Now, we're also probably not going to pick any if, well not much, potentially no luck up, and we'll see how it goes. I think luck is the best stat in the game. The ability to find higher quality stuff more reliably and earlier, I think it's just really, really good on its own. It allows you to spend your money a lot more efficiently. 
However, you know, technically speaking, if you're already lucky, then luck doesn't really do anything for you, right? So maybe we can just YOLO it all the way through. Our kill speed is actually pretty good. I didn't see the item guy. We did kill him in time. Definitely take the Cyclops Worm. Let's take the armor. We're buying the wings. Um... Shit. We'll go ahead and buy the Lightning Shiv and leave the knife locked again. I was debating on selling the... Gray Shirk and replacing it with a knife, but... I think it's better this way. <coughs> the less copies of the same item we have, the easier it'll be to upgrade. I like to keep these big guys down because the line attacks can be really annoying sometimes. If I only have one direction to go and they just happen to line up with that direction, I'm guaranteed to get hit by something. I could peel back, but then I'll walk into stuff and that could be even worse. Or I can just eat the line, but you know. Things in this game, especially on difficulty 5, hit exceedingly hard sometimes. I'm actually very pleased with the run so far. I think it's going pretty good. Uh, we're gonna take the max H. We're gonna take the melee damage actually, and then the flat damage. Poisonous tonic is really good. We're gonna pick this up by the knife. Roll once. <coughs> we'll lock the shuriken, and we'll probably sell the gray one and replace it with that one. We'll see. Because I, I don't think I want more than one shuriken. Since we're not going to be getting much range damage, the shuriken's not really going to scale too well with the rest of our attacks. density is really low at the moment, but I guess the first round that the big chargy boys are in is usually a lower density. We need to be careful not to be taking hits from them. Especially when uh, I stand on top of an X and have one spam- Holy shit, I can't speak English. Have one spawn on top of me. One way you can tell uh, if there's only one X, it's probably a big mob. Attack speed by standing still, lose speed. We're gonna go ahead and recycle that. Take the attack speed. Buy the coupon first. Recycle this, by the shuriken. Roll. Get another lightning shiv. Buy the knife. And buy another one. Our weapon quality is actually kind of insane right now. We're on wave 9 with 5 purples, I think that that's... Quite good. We'll probably look to buy some lower quality ones and merge some of the purples that we have soon. We are absolutely slaughtering everything here. See, you don't need luck. You just get exceedingly lucky in the shop anyways. Everything's fine. I do feel like... And it may have always been this way, and I just didn't notice in the first, like, handful of runs I did. But I feel like items now are more targeted, so if you're buying something, it's more likely to find things like what you're already purchasing, and less likely to find things outside of that category. So like we're buying precision weapons. The game's gonna keep giving us more precision weapons than it normally would. Because I feel like the first few runs I did, I was still getting a full variety of weapons regardless. We're making a buckload of money from killing. Take the armor. Take the damage. Um, I know this is bad for the shuriken, but we're gonna buy mastery. We're gonna buy the injection. Roll. We already have no dodge, so we're buying acid and buying alloy. Alloy is really good overall, and I think we're gonna go ahead and lock gentle alien since we're doing good. The max HP and the damage is great, but having more enemies is also beneficial to us as long as we're killing them all. We have our mini boss. The first mini boss next wave. I 
feel pretty confident in taking it down. I think we have a really good chance of killing it. I have to be careful. I don't really have any way to get my HP back, so even though I have a lot of max hit points, they are used and gone until the wave timer's over, at least when we heal back up. It would be good to have something to help with picking all of this money up. Having it scattered literally everywhere on the map can be kind of weird, but we're not too slow, so it's not that big of a problem. A little more elemental damage could be nice. Keeping our bounce damage high enough to hopefully one-shot the little guys is good. I don't really care about it doing a lot of damage as long as it's helping us keep the density down. We're taking the attack speed by this roll. I love the gambling token, but it's obviously pretty useless to us at this point. We've only got four armor. We'll take the metal plate. Roll me again. Don't care about any of this. A blue knife could be good. Um, we'll combine the normal knife. Buy the blue one, buy the coffee. And let's hope we kill our boss. But I think this is my favorite mini boss to fight because it tends to be the easiest. We just have to be kind of careful. Her line attacks obviously are a little wild. And she hits really hard. We got her down. I got a little sketch there for a second. The bosses uh, change their patterns based off how much damage you've done to them. So once they're low, walking away from them can be kind of a terrifying concept. I prefer to just go kind of ham. Thankfully we do have the movement speed that if we need to run, as long as we're careful about where we're stepping, it's okay. But those line attacks are just kind of scary. You don't have a whole lot of time to react to them. It is a sufficient amount of time to react to them, as long as your character is not super slow. But, you know man, I'm getting kind of old. I'm not as fast as I used to be. And it's exceedingly, uh... I realized the wave was almost over, we and got the tree. The potato is great. This is actually one of the red items that... I feel like, depending on your run, can be exceedingly worth its money. You get a little bit of every step. Which, we don't really have anything in the negative but dodge, HP regen, and lifesteal. This is going to bring our HP regen and lifesteal ever so slightly closer to zero. We'll take that. We have 100 attack speed, only 46 damage, so we're going to take the damage. Elemental and melee, we'll take this, fuck the negative 2 harvesting. We're going to combine these by the blue lightning shiv. We can give up attack speed for damage here. Rip and Tear is really good for us. And we'll buy the Hedgehog also. Our next mini boss is on 15. I don't see us having an issue killing it at this rate either. Hopefully this run stays pretty stable and I don't just turbo into it. I feel like we're making a lot more money than... We should be? But I guess we're just killing everything so quickly that it doesn't even feel like the density is very high. I could definitely use the free win. I, uh, I've been playing this a lot off YouTube, like just outside of videos. We got three free items so far, this is great. And it's not been going well. I have been getting my ass handed to me. I struggle a lot with the characters that are income based rather than offense based. Because I just can't keep myself alive if I can't kill anything. And so like Demon? Demon seems really good, but I can't get a good run with him. I just crash and burn. Take the charcoal. Um, we'll take this because our harvesting for some is negative 16, excuse me. We'll take the monkey. Uh, we'll go ahead and take the elemental damage. Roll me. Take the cake, and we'll definitely take the sunglasses, the crit chance is great, we'll roll again. Glass cannon's good, we have a lot of armor, so it's not that big of a deal, we'll lose some. And we'll go next. We're up to 92% bonus damage, that's really good. One of our melee weapons just crit for 308. 
Many bosses in two more waves. We got the tentacle boys now. I fucking hate those. I think they're the hardest enemy for me mentally. Because, like, they always attack in that V shape, right? The problem is, is if you're not... If you're being chased by a crowd of enemies, just like with the other guys, uh, your only option is to step back into the enemies sometimes, or get hit by the tentacles. Neither of which seems like a fun prospect to me. We're even slaughtering the armored chargers, which is really good. I think they're the tankiest unit outside of the big agglomerate, agglomerates, abominations that spawn. I don't know what else to call them, amalgams. Uh, two free items this wave, really nice. Another glass cannon puts us a zero armor, but that's fine. We'll take it. Campfire is okay. We two speeds not bad. Our HP region will only be negative one, and we'll get the extra elemental damage for the bounce on our lightning daggers. We'll take the melee. Purple shirk in here, definitely. I think we're gonna go ahead and take triangle of power two. The mouse isn't bad. But I don't really want to lower our harvesting any more than it already is. And I would buy the helmet if we had enough for it, but I'm not going to lock it. We could definitely use a little bit of armor since we gave the majority of our armor away. Negative 11 harvesting is not a big deal. I don't know what I did that brought it down, to be completely honest. I thought we took one thing that was like negative 5, and then all of a sudden I check and it's like negative 15 or 16. But, you know, I'm kind of on autopilot right now. Today is not a banger mental health day, but it do be that way sometimes. Our money's everywhere. I would have loved to have some pickup range, just to make this a little easier for us. Our minigame at this point is running around collecting as much material as we can. I still feel like the mob density is kind of low, but I mean, we're making the cash, so obviously I'm invalid in that statement. Take the metal plate, definitely. Max HP. Uh, we'll take mastery here. Roll me. We're gonna roll again. Bonus 5% lifesteal and 20 dodge. 20 dodge doesn't do much for us. The 5% lifesteal could be good, but I don't think it's worth 250. So we're going to buy Rip and Tear because Rip and Tear is really good. And go next. We got another mini boss this wave. I have no idea what this mini boss does, but we're absolutely shredding it. It hits hard. It hits really hard. That was terrifying. I'm glad that picking up the red crate heals us. I almost killed myself by getting hit by two sets of bullets and stepping on the boss on accident. That would have been a big sad moment. The rip and tear is actually doing a ton of work. All of those little explosions are from rip and tear. We've got two of them. It does damage based off of our melee damage, I believe. And... Dude, it's keeping shit clean. It synergizes super well with the bouncing. We got an extra item on top of the red one. Let's hope this is a decent one. I'm fine with losing 6 max HP and 2 armor. The dodge is useless to us, obviously, but the 15% speed is pretty nice. We'll take the knockback. We're already on 15, so I don't want to invest in dodge because it's a little late to get it back up. We're going to go ahead and take the movement speed, which works out great because we got a power generator. We're going to roll by the lightning shift. Roll me again. Our harvesting is still going down. Did we buy something else that removes it? Do we lose harvesting? No? Am I dumb? I'm so confused. Why does our harvesting keep getting worse? I'm sure it's something I'm doing. And I'm just not understanding what's going on. 
Uh, we're not going to roll again because it's expensive. We have another mini boss on 18, so we're going to go next. You know, despite not having any range damage bonuses, our flat stats are so good that this uh, these shurikens are still doing pretty good damage. And a free item, that's awesome. I actually feel like we're doing better without luck than with it, man. It's, it's, it's kind of disheartening, you know? At the end of the day, it is all entirely RNG based even if you have slightly better RNG scaling. So it is what it is. I know I used to play MMOs a lot, I've kind of stopped in the recent past because the genre just hasn't held up to the test of time for a lot of different reasons for a lot of different people. So like, I'm used to getting screwed by RNG. I know there was an item, I played EverQuest 2 for like 15 years, and there was an item I was farming as a 1% drop rate for like 3 months on every single one of my characters, and I think I had 12 at the time that were maxed out. You could do the dungeon once every like, I want to say it was once like every 18 hours or something per character. And in, the item only dropped twice, and the first time it dropped, somebody ninja ate, or ninja looted it for their alt. And the second time it dropped, we had... I wasn't on the character that needed it, and we had somebody in the group who needed it, so I didn't get it. So I ended up paying a fuckload of money for the item. We'll definitely take Wisdom here. Uh, we're going to take the Speed again, since it gives us damage as well. Take Banner. Roll. I'm going to buy... Tr no, it's not worth it. We're not going to buy it. We'll take the metal. Roll me again. I do want the alien magic. But not enough to lock it. So we'll go next. We are zooming. You're so fast. There's a red item, I think, that gives you benefit for having speed as well. Be cool to get that from the mini boss on the next wave. I think it's speed transfers to dodge. We might end up having a little bit more. I don't. I actually can't remember. My brain capacity is a little hindered today. I did sleep super well, a little too well, to be honest. I felt like I was. Uh, my friend put it best. Sometimes it feels like the Skyrim waiting screen. Where, like, you click a button and everything goes black and then all of a sudden it's the next day. Those are the nights I hella prefer over any other. I have dreams a lot and nightmares a lot, but they're always so fucking weird. We're walking to a lot of stuff. I need to be more careful. The Vigilante Ring is really good, but... At this point, there's no point in getting it. We're only going to get a few percent out of it. Not want any of this either. By the Cyclops. Worm. Ranged and elemental for speed. That's, that should be a damage negative. I'm not going to buy that. The alloy is great. We're going to roll again just for the memes. Definitely not buying the minigun. And go next. Find this mini boss. This is the chargey boy. We're absolutely shredding him. You can keep short charge. Ooh, that hurt a lot. You can keep short charges. He doesn't shoot as many bullets. He also has a pretty basic pattern, so if you're just careful, you can deal with him really easy too. I'm interested to see what two bosses we end up getting. Got another free item. We're even killing the little loot aliens almost instantly, which is nice tree up here. Ow. We're getting hit really hard. I would actually like to end out the run with a little bit of armor. Since we don't have any way to heal. Taking that much damage. Well, I mean, we can heal from the trees, right? But it's not very much or very consistently. Taking that much damage from a single hit is kind of scary. Especially since we're about to have two bosses on the map. The elemental and 15 luck. This is... A perfectly fine item. Definitely taking the bonus armor. It really wants me to buy this cape. It's not happening. 
We're gonna buy the broken mouth again. Roll me. We already have 182% bonus damage. I don't think the glass cannon is worth picking up again. We are gonna buy the handcuffs instead since this benefits all of our weapons. And some of them twice. And we'll go. Next wave is last wave. We have killed all three mini bosses. The run's been pretty smooth through to here. Let's hope we don't choke at the very end. I'm starving. I think after this recording is done, I'm gonna go get some food. This density feels good. I think it really is just that the bounces combined with Rip and Terror clearing so much off screen that I don't see the majority of what's spawning. Because that was a pretty big group of enemies and they just kind of disappeared. I always uh, mark if my damage is really great or not by how fast I kill these armored guys. And with them dying like within milliseconds of lighting up red to charge, it feels great. We're not fucking taking weird ghost. We're gonna go ahead and take the max HP again. Oh, we, our max HP is capped at 78. I'm an idiot. Uh, we'll roll. We're gonna roll again. Buy the knife. Roll one more time. Buy the shuriken. Roll again. We're gonna go ahead and buy the metal plate. And... Good luck, guys! I'm saying good luck to you, because I need the good luck myself. You put out what you want. We're gonna try to kill this guy first, because I fucked out. We're gonna die horribly. Yep. I can't dodge to save my life. It's fine. I played that like shit. That should have been a win, but it's also partially my fault for not investing in any regenerative properties. So, as always, thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like to interact with the channel, leave a like, maybe comment or subscribe. I respond to every single comment that gets put up. Take care of yourselves.